This conference will now be recorded. All right, happy Friday, everyone. Today is Friday, May 24th. And as always, everything that we're going to be talking about today is for educational purposes only, and nothing is intended as any type of investment advice. All right, so we know today is not going to be the most uh, most active day that we've ever seen before. We have a three-day weekend coming up, and we could see, you know, just even coming into yesterday afternoon, things just really getting slow. Um, and just looking at the pre-market, you see there's just not really much volume, but there's one thing that we do have going for us right now, and it is Foot Locker. So coming into the prints, we can see we got selling coming in at the 48 level. We had selling at the 475 level, and then we have selling at 4750. So pretty much on its entire way down, we have seen selling. We have not really got any type of pull up from this original selling over here at 48. So coming back over to 821, we can see that it just never really, uh, never really came back up. So I'm going to be expecting some type of pull up, and certainly going to see expect some type of profit taking coming in once we come into the. Uh, Come into the open because essentially, like I said, I mean, we did get a little bit of a pull up from that 47.50. We can see, you know, came up to about 48, but still didn't get back up above that 48 level. So we're going to be starting with 48.50 before we would be looking for a trigger down. You can see right here, 47.75. We just had two uh, 50,000 share prints, so we are getting some big prints coming in. 48.75 right here, uh, nine. Almost 20,000, 18,000, 23,000, 25,000. So a lot of volume coming into there. Three prints are enough. I know we typically say four. Well, three prints, it's not you know a huge show of hand. Now, this right here is fine, but look at the orders. Okay, so yeah, when the market is actually open and we actually you know are, are trading some type of uh you know, some type of volume, the three prints is not going to be enough. But when you have absolutely no orders and at 821 in the morning, it definitely holds a lot more weight than it would if the market was open. Um, so overall, really the best show of hand that we do have, though, is at that 4775 right here on the bid side that started at 825. And the only other thing that I got this morning is on my side list is OTLK. So we can see that it's, you know, it's pushing up a little bit and we have seen this thing move before. Now, I'm not too happy. I hope it lets me go back. Um, but right here, I'm not really too happy about the prints that we saw uh, at the at that two level. Okay, so if we look, that was yesterday at 234. Just not a big fan. So we've been kind of pushing up from there, um, but just not really as much buying as I would like to see. And I really would have liked to see something at the 250 level, which we can see we kind of hit it and not we weren't able to print. But we do have some buying underneath. So I'm not. I'm not totally convinced at all, but it is holding its consolidation and it definitely has the ability if we can get some type of volume, some type of, some type of buying to come in to break past that 250 level. All right, let's take a look at our scanners. Let's see if we got anything else going on, anything popped up since we've started talking, but I highly, highly doubt it. You can see, I mean, just not really much going on out there at all. BIOC, absolutely nothing. APHA, 116,000, nothing. And then UWT ETF, not going to be looking at. And then you can see, I mean, it's just... Definitely not really much going on out there at all. Um, other than that, we got a few stories going on. BIDU is heading back towards that 115 level. We know that we had some buying, oops, some buying there yesterday um, that were, you know, kind of just sitting around. So definitely going to be keeping my eyes on that. Baba pulling up as we, you know, we had to know. I mean, it hit that five, uh, 155 level about three times. So pulling up from that. So definitely going to be keeping our eyes, but you can see just not really any type of real prints coming into it. And that's pretty much what we got going on this morning. Any chance we could take a quick look at Baba from all the selling yesterday? Yep, right there. So basically, I mean, it hit 155 how many times on that bid side and we're pulling back up from there. So we're going to be looking for a, you know, a trigger back down towards that 155 level. <laughs> um, over 40, 50 sell prints after the bell. Yes, I saw that someone, I think someone posted that um, yesterday coming in and there were some big prints as well. Um, but I just, you know, the, the problem with Uber is, is that most people still probably aren't going to be able to short it. Uh, but if you are looking at, uh, if you are looking at options, you can definitely, you know, take that route coming in. But just remember that 40, uh, 4015 is where we saw that huge amount of selling. So it's pulling up from there, but it's really just pulling up from that selling. And then, yes, Roku is a way over that 90 level. So congratulations for all of you that had your uh, had your calls in there. It should be looking pretty good. Just unfortunately, no real uh, no real prints coming in this morning yet. Just basically like everything else out there. All right, guys, so let's make sure we have lots of patience this morning. Remember, it only takes one. There's no reason to try to rush any and to try to force anything. Um, once we hit about 10.30, more than likely we're going to see everything just completely die for the rest of the afternoon. So you want to keep that in mind. All right, guys, everyone have a wonderful Memorial Day weekend. I will talk to everyone in the chat and happy trading.